Under Keel Clearance, UKC. UKC, is calculated value of the water reserve under the keel. Depends on the vessel's speed, displacement, and size of the vessel. Theoretical UKC, for open water, is calculated using the formula 1.10. Where, V, is the vessel speed, knots. D, is the displacement, metric tons. L, B, T, length, width, draft, meters. C, B, is the completeness factor. Note, Formula 1.10 is applicable for the open sea, for a shallow channel the result must be doubled. Analyzing Formula 1.10 we conclude that UKC primarily depends on speed, speed doubled and squared, and secondly, displacement and size. Example number 4, calculate UKC by vessel size, form 1.10, with next characteristics on the screen. The solution according to formula 1.10 led to a result of approximately 1.6 meters. This is theoretical. Let's analyze what water under the keel depends on in practice which is determined by formula 1.11 on the screen. Where, UKC, under keel clearance, meters. H0, is the chart datum, meters. Delta HT, is the tide, meters. T0, is the ship's draft, meters. Delta TV, is the high speed squat of stern, meters. Delta TD, is the correction for changes in water density, meters. Delta TW, is the wave correction, meters. Delta H, is the heel correction, meters. Example number 5 shows, step by step, how UKC is calculated for a vessel with the following characteristics, they are on the screen. 1. We find the high speed squat of the stern at approximately equal to 0.92 meter. 2. We find a correction for the density of water equal to 0.05 meter. 3. We find a waves correction equal to 0.9 meter. 4. Finding a heel correction. equal to 0.29 meter. 5. Using formula 1.11, we calculate UKC. Under keel clearance equal to 1.64 meters. Chances are you won't have to calculate UKC. Now, Every self-respecting company has its own under-keel clearance policy. For example, for any vessel of my company it was required. The ship at the berth in static must have UKC equals 10% of the maximum draft, those. With a draft of 10 M, there must be at least 1 M of water supply under the keel near the berth. In narrow channels and in shallow water UKC equals 15% of the maximum draft. In open sea UKC equals 25% of the maximum draft. At the same time, it was considered that if H slash T less than or equal to 2 equals narrow channel or shallow water, if more, open sea. By following the UKC policy, you will never have to mast a three ball figure vertically, a vessel aground. Good luck colleagues.